this tutorial is all about paragraph text. Uh, there are two kinds of uh, style when entering text. First is the artistic text and there is a paragraph text. Uh, both have its own purposes. Um, so let's see the difference between the artistic text and the paragraph text. I have two columns here and the first column is artistic text and the second one in the right side is the paragraph text. You know if it's a paragraph text because it has this text border or text frame. Now if I click on the artistic text and uh, let's say I want to enlarge the fonts or the, the paragraph itself, I would just move this and go this way, right? Okay, so that's how you enlarge artistic text. But in the paragraph text, what I can do is I can click on the paragraph and then I can just change the font size here. The text frame stays the same, but you know it fits into the text frame. Not unlike like the unlike the artistic text, it goes over. Okay. So that's a, another advantage of paragraph text is that once you it wraps around the text wraps around the text uh, the, the text frame and if you click if you notice this there's like an arrow going down that means to say you have to expand the text frame because there are more text uh, underneath that so you click and then you drag going down okay so that's the last uh, line now, if I'm doing that here in the artistic text, I what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, normally what I'll do is, to make it the same as the paragraph text, I would go click on the the, the text tool and I would hit return and then delete just to adjust all the, the text frame. So it's it's time consuming that way. So I would suggest when you're doing when you're doing um, brochures or when you're doing if you know that your content the text content would be a lot of contents use paragraph text then artistic text. Now I'm going to delete this one. And now the question is how would I enter paragraph text? Okay. So when you enter paragraph text, you click on the text tool button or F8. And then you make a box. So click and drag to make a box. And then you'll just type in the, the, the text. I have something in the clipboard, so I'll just control V to paste. So that's my paragraph text now. Or I'm going to control Z. And the notice here when you click out, it says click here to with, with text to uh, to add paragraph or you can just double click and start typing okay I'm just gonna go undo so that's control Z to undo so I'm going to do it again so click on the text tool and then control V now there's also an option here which is really good it's it's when you want to to uh, to fit the paragraph text to the frame okay to the text uh, frame so what you're going to do is you click on text and you go to paragraph text frame and then fit text to frame so what it's going to do it's going to adjust to the font size to fit to the frame now let's go to text alignment in paragraph text I'm just going to zoom in here and let's see so when you click on the paragraph text uh, you're going to have this property bar which will show you all the options that you can do with the paragraph text now the alignment would be in this in this portion here let's say that the default is left alignment and if you want to go center that's center and you want to go right and you want to go full justify so that's where you get the alignment of the 
of the paragraph text. It's just the same as the alignment in the uh, artistic text. Now, when you're making brochures, uh, you're going to have columns of paragraphs and uh, and I'm going to show you how to link uh, text frames. If you notice here, I've got two frames, but it's linked together. You know if it's linked together because you've got this arrow here. Uh, that means to say that it's linked together. Now, first I'm going to delete this text frame and I'm going to create paragraph text. So click there. That's my first uh, text frame and this is my second text frame. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click here and then control V for paste. I'm just going to make control V again just to uh, just to make it overflow. So you know it's overflow because of that arrow there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to link these two paragraph text frames so that the text here will flow to this text frame. So here's what you're going to do. Uh, the order of how you select the frame is important here. So once you, when you want to link this frame to this frame, you have to click on the, the f this frame first before this one. So the last frame would be the first uh, text that would flow. Okay, so this first and then this. So you click and then hold on shift and click this one. And then you go to text, click on paragraph text frame and click on link. There. So you notice now it flows to the second column. And if I move this one, it would still link it. See that arrow there? And of course, you can always resize this if you want, or you can even click on text, paragraph, text frame, fit text to frame. Okay. Now, how do we unlink uh, a linked text frame? So you know this one is linked because of the arrow there. Okay. So if you want to unlink these uh, text frames, uh, so you click on the first one, and then hold on shift and click on the second one and you go to text paragraph text frame and unlink okay so when you unlink that it's not linked together so when I move this make it smaller it overflows this way and it doesn't overflow in the next column now we'll talk about fitting text to a shape so in here you notice that the text flows to a shape. Okay. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna delete that first. Delete this one too. Okay, let's start from doing a circle an ellipse. Okay. And then that's my shape. And I'm gonna put my text into those into that shape or container. So I go to my text tool and make sure that when once you click on the edge of the of the object you don't choose you have to choose you have to move it inside and make sure that I don't know if you see it but I, I can see there there's like a B you know that's like a boxed frame okay that means to say you can put in the text inside so control V and that's how you do it now see this one it makes it 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 says that it overflows so the best thing to do here is you go to your text and go to paragraph text frame and fit text to frame just to make sure that it doesn't overflow now if I zoom in here I have the uh, thin outline in the in the in my text frame okay so if you want to make that disappear so you click on the the outline and you go to tools in your outline tool and click on none or no outline okay. now let's do another shape here I'm going to make two 
squares and that, or rectangles. I click and then hold on shift and click the next one. I mean the other one. And I go, you go to weld here. Okay. Weld makes it, makes a silhouette of those two objects. I'm going to explain that later in another tutorial. So I click on weld and and now we have a silhouette of those two rectangles. Okay. So now click on the text tool and make sure to go inside and make sure you choose this one which is has A and B. Okay. And that means that you're ready to put the text inside. Click and then paste or you can click on this icon for paste there so once again the that arrow shows up and say it's overflowing so you go to text paragraph text frame and fit text to frame and then to remove the outline so you click on the outline and you click on your outline tool and click on none 